Let's get started. <laughs> Just pressure. <laughs> Everybody is Kung Fu fighting in DreamWorks' comedic action-packed Kung Fu Fan. Is there any more for me to see and enjoy? <laughs> Starring Jack Black as the awesome Kung Fu-loving panda, Poe. This is the greatest day in Kung Fu history! Dustin Hoffman as the small but powerful Master Shifu. One must first master the highest level of Kung Fu. Okay, take it easy. I can't wait to get started. And the elite Furious Five, voiced by Angelina Jolie as Tigress. Don't try and stop me. Jackie Chan as Monkey. We should head out. Seth Rogen as Mantis. This is really good. Come over here. Lucy Liu as Viper. What are you talking about? This is amazing. And David Cross as Crane. How'd you get out of there alive? Together, they will do battle with the greatest kung fu warrior ever, Tai Lung, voiced by Ian McShane. You think I'm a fool? <laughs> and destiny will be determined as one noodle-making panda discovers if he has what it takes to become the ultimate kung fu master. I had a voice in an animated feature called uh, Shark Tale. And I had a lot of fun making that. And uh, Jeffrey Katzenberg was like, hey, let's make another one. This time you're the big cheese. And it's called Kung Fu Panda. And I was like, yeah, I'm ready to step up. Uh, Poe is a panda. Poe! And he's big and cuddly and not cute. I'm just being myself on this one. They wanted me to. They wanted to hear the real me. <laughs> Made it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a huge Jack Black fan. He has brought so much to the character and so much of himself. Is my face really red? Yes. <laughs> what happens when you really feel it? That it's helped us create not only a world that's believable, but a character that's really real and genuine. And all that just comes directly from Jack, and it's inspired by his performance. Legend tales of a legendary warrior whose kung fu skills with a stuff of legend. The universe has the dragon warrior. What? 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 Master Uguay, wait! That flabby panda can't possibly be the answer to our problem. Shifu is the great master of Kung Fu. Do you want to learn Kung Fu? Yeah. Dustin Hoffman is the great master of the art of acting. Go ahead, panda. Show us what you can do. Um, are they gonna watch, or should I just wait until I get back to work or something? Just hit it. No matter with crazy feet. What do you do about crazy feet? I'm a blur. I'm a blur. Like this. How are you gonna hit something that moves like that? Would you hit it? I play an endangered, rare Chinese panda. I refuse to be in the film unless I could play an endangered panda. Can I punch through walls? Can I do a quadruple backflip? Focus. Will I have any busy Focus. Moves? I get the Shifu kicked out of me. <laughs> <laughs> My patience is wearing thin. Awesome, I'm ready. Wow. Yeah. Very important that the actor that was playing Shifu would be someone who you would have that feeling that people would honor them with respect. And Dustin just has that gravitas, you know. He just makes you believe anything he says. Who is worthy to finally gaze upon the highest teachings of Kung Fu? The Furious Five! You're so much bigger than your action figures. Except for you, Mantis. You're about the same. Poe's five big heroes in life are... <laughs> Monkey. Mantis. Crane. Viper. Tigress. Oh! I was secretly hoping that I got to be her. It's very important that I'm the tiger. I love a tiger. <laughs> They're all different styles of kung fu, and, and hers is attack. There's no defense. It's just attack, attack, attack. Don't try to stop me. Watch out! Whoa! He's smart. He won't come back up those steps. When I first saw her, I thought that it must be Jackie Chan. And finally, I guess I'm not gonna be the tiger. And they got so excited. This is what you trained me for. Angelina brought this amazing warmth and soul to the character. Our first session with her, we came away just so thrilled that we really had a flesh and blood character for a tigress. And she has kids, so she kind of knows how to deal with people like us. We're just kind of like big dopes. Oh, that is it! <laughs> okay.
authentic. Seriously, man. <laughs> Master Monkey, one of the fierce five. Monkey just jumping up and down, you know, moving around, have a lot of acrobatics. <laughs> Use the stick, not your head. <laughs> Monkey is fast moving and acrobatic. He does a lot of flip to do's and then he'll kick you in the chops. He also uh, is pretty funny. It's Monkey. Perfect for Jackie Chan. I don't understand. How can that be that dragon warrior? Don't tell Monkey. What is he doing? He's probably the original combination of uh, kung fu action and comedy. I use uh, comedy with my kung fu together. I think it's really good for me. Ah, uh -huh, Master Shifu! Of course it's Shifu. What do you think I'm doing? <laughs> He's the original gangster in that arena. <laughs> Monkey! Viper's a snake, which can be very deceiving. She seems quite lethal, but she's actually quite sweet. I I'm afraid we were a little hard on him last night. That kung fu stuff is hard work, right? Your biceps sore? Wow, the guy just doesn't quit. Get ready to feel the thunder. It's kind of inspiring. How's that? Kind of. These characters become real people to you, part of your real life. It's so alive. It's funny because when you're doing the voiceover, you forget that the camera is there, capturing all the gestures of your face and the expressions. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? This is amazing! And I just assume that they're going to match the voice to the character, but I never think about it the other way around. Lucy Liu, Viper. Smooth, sexy, sultry. <laughs> Danger. Don't get too hypnotized by the other stuff. It's not sure The poor guy is just going to get himself killed. Are you ready? I was born ready. Oh. I'm sorry, brother. I thought you said you were ready. She strikes, but she's smooth. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. I'm starting to like the panda. Nice. I play Mantis. Um, who was trained in the art of Kung Fu Mantis style. Wow, that's impressive. I warm up to Poe pretty fast. I'm amused by him and see that he's a good guy. It's just not easy finding the right nerve points under all this fat fur. I was going to say fur. <laughs> oh, great. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Seth Rogen is probably the best improver in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> he opens his mouth and stuff starts to happen. He creates magic. I'm headed to the bandit. He's got a lot of heart. And he's incredibly fun to watch bounce. <laughs> Act like an animated crane. All right. Yeah, here's something I would never do. David Cross plays a crane. Um, crane is like the long, spindly leg one. <laughs> he's a master at deflection. If you try to throw a throwing star or something, deflect, deflect. <laughs> Very good. I guess uh, master deflection is me as someone who doesn't answer questions in a forthright way. Thank you. Don't mention it. Crane is uh, uh, the kind of guy I definitely hang out with, you know, and just grab a brew and, uh, you know, maybe make some chili, a big pot of chili. Whoa, that smells good. Oh, you are... A really good cook. I guess my body doesn't know it's the dragon warrior yet. <laughs> Ian's amazing. Ian can go from 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds. He comes in as the nicest guy in the world, and then he becomes Tai Long. Hey! Oh! Ah! Shane doesn't really play the good guy in a lot of things. I don't know why. Maybe because he's horrified. <laughs> Bad guys always get the best lines. What are you going to do, big guy? Sit on me? Even as a childish animated figure, he scares me. Fly back there and tell them the dragon warrior is coming home. He's coming this way! He won't get far. Archers, now! <laughs> <laughs> My character, the commander, is a rhinoceros. Broad shoulders, big all over, muscular, probably can bench press like at least 5,000 pounds. Fears nobody except the tight law. Oh, did I step on the witty kitty's tail? He's trying to be tough. He's trying to impress this goose to like. 
Come on, look at him. He's a kid, but in the back of your mind, you know who I don't hope he doesn't get loose. I have had a vision. Tai Long will return. Master Uwe is played by Randall Duke Kim. We wanted somebody who could not only play alongside Dustin Hoffman, which is a pretty tall order, but could give us the weight of this thousand-year-old spiritual leader of the entire Valley of Peace. You're acting as if fate is something you can control. I've seen myself as a tortoise for many years, you know? I can't tell you how many people love your voice and love your character and... I love this character. Ugwe is a, an entity, a character, that I can only aspire to. He's like what I would want to be right. as I get older. <laughs> we are noodle folk. Broth runs through our veins. <laughs> Isn't that funny? That Poe's father, Mr. Ping, is a dog. Come on, son. Let's get back to work. See ya, Doug. I need to go back and look at the drawings. It's so silly. In our first session working with James Hong, he told us that his dad had a noodle shop. So he brought that to the character, which was really cool. Actually, it's a table three by seven and twelve. <laughs> my father used to sound somewhat like that. Service with a smile. I'm just a loving father who cares for his son a lot. And that enthusiasm, I think, takes care of itself. That's my boy. The kung fu part of really reminds me of a lot of the things I've seen in the Chinese films of old. Kung Fu Panda seems to marry the voices with the characters and the action very well. You are free to eat. Am I? Are you? Nailed it. And that's the game. There's a game called Essence that we used to play in our house. And you'd have to ask them, if this person were a, a bird, what kind of bird would they be? If this person were the weather, what kind of weather? And I think if you would say, well, if Jack Black was an animal, what animal would he be? He would be this animal. It was perfect casting. What are you doing here? You're stuck. Stuck? <laughs> Not stuck. Help him. The panda that treats it like a joke. And you're so awesome. He is silly and loose and sweet. Great at comedy, makes us all laugh. <laughs> I think he is perfect as Poe. Oh. <laughs> Someone wrote that. How did you get out of there alive? Bloody knuckles and broken bones. Even in his voice, he's relatable. He has an everyman quality. <laughs> kind of looks like there might be some panda blood in him. Three drops of panda blood in, in Jack Black. I don't know where it is. <laughs> I've never seen a panda in person, but I'm sure that after all my work as a panda, that now I can just go right up to one and give it a kiss. I'm going to go to the nearest panda zoo and ask them to open the cage, let me inside, lock the cage behind me. Let me spend some time with the pandas. All right. You're awesome. Last thing I'm going to say. Okay. Bye-bye.